In a recent video I showed you a thin 15.6 inch LCD touchscreen panel that I found and I told you that I wanted to put it, two of them into a SIM panel of my own design. Well despite a delay for my annual Oshkosh pilgrimage I'm back and I'd like to show you what I've come up with. Now if you watch my videos you know I love touchscreen panels for their flexibility, the fact that they can represent numerous airplanes and at a cost less than that of a full hardware build out. But you also may know that I'm the father of the Knobster, and I wanted to include that into a build too. Now if you've followed my channel, you know the Knobster allows you to select with the touchscreen any knob and then operate that with a single knob mounted on the panel. And that can cover most everything with the touch technology and the entire operation of the aircraft. But I still thought it was important to include some of the basic controls used in all aircraft in the form of the gear, flaps, parking brake, and basic switch panels. Let's see what I came up with. To speed things up, I started out with a uh, Desktop Aviators USB switch panel. I also created a simple gear, flaps, and parking brakes uh, using the uh, Air Manager Arduino and uh, 3D printed parts. To create the actual panel, I started off with some masonite and some lumber available at my local Menards and also figured out an ingenious way to uh, locate where the monitors would be so I could make the cutout fit exactly to the inside edges of the monitor bezels. In my previous video I explained why I thought these little 15.6 inch monitors were just perfect for the use in a cockpit. Not to mention larger and less expensive than iPads. So to guarantee that the uh, monitors would line up with the cutouts in the panel, I created a cardboard template by tracing the monitor onto the cardboard and cutting it out. Then I measured the inset on the monitor bezel on each side and drew lines and drilled small holes at each corner. Then I used that template by setting it on the cross member uh, to create uh, or to drill the holes through the masonite where I could use a uh, saw to make very precise cuts from corner to corner. This worked quite well. Now that I've proved the concept, I think I will pursue a uh, all-metal panel made by Stay Level Avionics. And uh, of course that design he would have available for others who want to copy this design in their own home cockpits. I created three cockpits for trial. One is based on the uh, Cessna Air Manager panel. I realigned the instruments and put it together with a G530 into this two panel configuration. And I have to tell you that I'm really pleased with the way it operates. It's so easy to use the Knobster to set frequencies and to handle the knobs, but it's really nice having the uh, dedicated controls for the gear flaps, uh, parking brake, and the switches. If you have followed my channel, you know that uh, I was a big proponent of touchscreens and I've uh, tried numerous two and three touchscreen configurations. But to be honest with you, the touchscreens were just uh, a bit too big and these are just the perfect size uh, when augmented with some additional switches. And the immersion is really great sitting in the cockpit with the feel of a cockpit and not just a couple monitors sitting on a desk. So I'm quite happy with the way this turned out and uh, I find myself much more attracted to flying this sim as opposed to my VR sim now uh, as I've finished building this panel. really is great for training uh, to be able to uh, reach up there and touch uh, uh, the controls and uh, operate them and that's what I really missed in the VR cockpit. The second panel set I made was for the Cessna with the G1000 and these are just about 100% scale G1000 so buttons are quite large, easy to operate, it works great and uh, this of course isn't a final product this is just uh, just something I threw together to demonstrate what I think this uh, new cockpit can do but uh, I did put uh, some trim and, and flap indications on the screen uh, because uh, you do need to know where the flaps are uh, and I just put the handle there for that purpose but but I'm sure this can be refined but this is using the X-Plane uh, G1000 pop-outs 
uh, and uh, the bezels that are available for Air Manager. And as again, as I said before, the um, flaps and gear uh, and all the other switches besides the main switch panel there uh, are all run with Air Manager and it's quite easy to set up. Eventually it'd be nice to have all of the switches operating with Air Manager so the single plug-in could handle everything and you avoid having to go through the long tedious process of setting up all the switches in uh, X-Plane or Prepared or FSX. The final panel I made was for the Cirrus Vision Jet in uh, X-Plane. This uses the pop-out uh, G1000s and it also uses uh, X texture extractor. I did a video on that. I'll put that in the show notes below. But uh, to use the to pop out the three screens from the uh, multifunction displays. But this gives us a nice uh, operating panel. The screens are not quite full size obviously but they're still very usable with the high resolution of the, uh, the full HD monitors. So in conclusion the results of my little test is that uh, this was well worth it these monitors that I purchased for under $200 each are excellent. I think I see them now on Amazon for $229. They've gone up just a little bit, but uh, you can find information about that in the video from uh, the previous video about the monitors. I'll put that in the, uh, in the notes below in the comments. Also, I will put information about, the, um, about Air Manager. I will also put some information about uh, Knobster in the video about that. I'll make a reference to that. And uh, I guess my next step now will be to pursue uh, with uh, uh, John over there at State Level Avionics about getting a panel made. Uh, see if he can help me design something that's even better and uh, more permanent uh, that we can use for uh, uh, to accomplish the same purpose. Uh, and it'll be a little even a little bit easier for people to who want to follow along and instead of trying to go through the tedious process of trying to cut out these these uh, frames and make everything line up. Do appreciate your time watching. I wish you would please uh, subscribe, share it with your friends if you'd like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on what I'm working on. And I will uh, keep you posted as I continue to, uh, like all of you, uh, search for the perfect sim uh, and try to bring it to my own basement. Also, I love your comments, and I'm happy to answer questions for anyone who might have questions about any of the material that I cover. I'd also love to, uh, maybe to have some comments from you about whether I've selected the right switches to include uh, and what other switches you think might be important to include in a sim like this. Thanks for watching.